Yeah, man, it's the 18th of July, 2024, and it's been a while, so appreciate you guys bearing with me. Thank you for all the check-ins and, hey, are you doing okay? And um, I've been recovering and very busy, and, um, you know, I got a few things to talk about. I made me a little list of things that have been going on, and it's been kind of strange for a little while. They, they never quit, okay? The gang stalkers, they never actually quit. And um, sometimes they kind of back off a little bit. And it really depends on who's on, you know, who's on, who's connected, who's on my neural monitoring, who's talking, who's trying to do the live streams, the who's trying to put out a show. And if some come on, then the others start acting erratic too. And really for... A couple of weeks, it was uh, not uh, non-existent, but it had died down a little bit, and it was because there was only a couple of guys left on the on my channel as far as like every day, and they weren't being completely erratic, but uh, but they never stopped. So, uh, but let me, let's just get into it. So, first of all, um, I'm always like worried about this crazy YouTube channel and all the stuff that's going on in my life and like talking about it publicly and all of that. And it's, um, it's not something I'm going to quit doing, but it's something that's, uh, that's on my mind. And I wonder about like the, the, um, the consequences of talking about all of this stuff publicly. And so far it hasn't made like a, a, super negative impact on my life but I, I imagine that one day I'm going to come across something in my professional life where somebody's going to say yeah man you know we're, we're not interested in dealing with you because because of that whole thing that you have going on and um, otherwise nobody would even know about it except for YouTube but um, but I'll continue to to do what I do and um you know, I think it's very important for me um, to talk about it, especially considering like the history that I've had like thousands of videos and I've been talking about it for so many years now publicly and nobody else is really talking about it. So uh, I think that it is important. And I think in the future, at some point, it's going to kind of go down as like, oh, this guy was the, you know, he was talking about this back in you know, 2015 and 16 and 17 and, and, you know, look, look how on point he really was because I am, because, and, I, and I've had a lot of confirmation, um, you know, about, about the things that go on. I've had a lot of different confirmations that, you know, sometimes I, th I feel like somebody might help me and then, then they kind of back off and let the situation just kind of like they want to stay out of it. And I'm talking about people that like have neural monitoring and uh, maybe not so much of like a gang stalker, but just somebody that has it. And a lot of people do have it. And most of them aren't going to be gang stalkers, at least as far as like just sitting on mind control and sitting on somebody's channel and making that like their career move is to just stay like the guys that I deal with they just stay they stay and it's they've been years and years they've never left and um, most people that have neural monitoring are not going to be like that and uh, sometimes you know I've gotten these confirmations about um, you know some of the some of the more bizarre things that you know because because after you know a certain point you might say you know i can't believe this is even really happening and um there there might even be times where you question yourself you know but those confirmations from those kind of people are that is the help that you know and and what i what i do with that information and what i um, what I take from that knowledge is, uh, I guess that's really up to me on how I pursue different things, but the confirmation 
is very important. When somebody that's not involved with your gang stalking does something, even if they don't like help you get your neural monitoring, but they do something that lets you know 100% like, yeah, you, you're on the exact perfect pathway. You know exactly what you're talking about. And um, that's, that's very helpful, you know? And maybe that is the help that, that they give, you know? But it's a very bizarre thing and it's hard to navigate through all of that. And sometimes it's difficult to try to come to the conclusion that you may have to just accept it and deal with these people for forever or for a long period of time. I believe we can get our neural monitoring. And it's the reason why I really started doing all of the things that I do. But as far as um, the professional clash, you know, of coming out with crazy stuff, talking about it on public internet, and then the possibility or chance of that coming back to be, uh, uh, to have a negative impact on, um, you know, my, my financial well-being or a career path or something like that. It, it's a possibility. And it's just, uh, something that, you know, you, you have to come to grips with if you're going to do what I do and talk about all of this stuff publicly. Okay. And, um, as far as school, you know, I started going to school because, not because, uh, like most people, they go to school because they want to get a job and that particular thing that they're studying and um, or they just feel like it'll make them more money or give them a career. And that's not why I went to school. Um, I'm okay with with my job and um, and I'm really more interested in having like my own company at some point and uh, just moving in the direction that I want to move in. And the school thing was not something where I said, oh, let me get this degree and study this thing because I want to get that job. And maybe it'll turn into something where I end up getting that job. Or um, or what's already happened is is become very helpful in my current job and in life in general, uh, just studying you know, computer programming. And the, the degree that I'm studying for that, I've been going since... Uh, 22. So I went 22, 23, 24. I'm like three years in and I got a few more classes, not many, like two or three more classes to graduate this degree. Um, but it won't be till sometime middle of next year because I also enrolled in the cybersecurity degree program. And so, um, so I'll be getting both of those, the programming and the cybersecurity. And the, you know, the first class I ever took and I was sitting in class and the lady was asking everybody, why are they doing this? And I said, well, because, um, you know, I got some exes that keep hacking my phone and stuff like that. And everybody laughed and um, it, it was because of this whole thing with neural monitoring. And, um, you know, one of the things like, like for example, to even today, and yesterday, uh, I've still, I still run into the same stupid problems. And what happened is they, that I told you they've been calm for a few weeks. And, um, within the last, I don't know, three or four days, they've brought back on one of the, the, the four, you know, I had the four guys and then it kind of tapered down to like two. And then in the last few days, it's been all four again. And one of them is a younger guy, the one I've always called different names. I called him Stain. I called him Birthing Yak. I called him uh, Swine. The Swine. I, I make up these names for him. And he's a nasty little, little uh, younger guy, you know, just a little nasty person. And when he comes on, he is very belligerent and abusive. And the others start to, um, to follow that lead. I don't know why they're following the idiot, but that's kind of, you're dealing with followers. And so, um, you know, it's been the last few days I've had things where they're messing with my devices and my services, you know, uh, I'll go to sleep and wake up and a device that should last, you know, 20 hours, it was at a hundred percent and now it's super hot laying next to me. And I've had to start taking like those type of precautions that you might take if, I want to say like in the beginning phases when you have a bunch of idiot gang stalkers that are just doing too much. And 
sometimes I feel like, you know, I'm past all of that. And then these idiots just continue to act the same. And I realize, like, well, I guess not. I guess I'm not past all of that. And so what we're going to do is turn off every device except for maybe one. And, um, you know, I, I can't leave all these devices on and, and all of that because they're using them. They're using my devices. And then they'll even turn on devices. Like a device that's in my bag will just suddenly come on. And like, and I'll have on like earbuds or something and it'll be like, phone too connected. And I'm like, you know, what did you just turn my phone on? And I have to go in my bag and get it and turn it back off. And they are just turning my devices on. And yet, like yesterday, I, I turned off one device and then a few minutes later my earbuds go off with the other device in my bag turning on and that's something that they have done uh extensively in the past i mean they used to be so bad i could hardly even use my own stuff but um you know yeah they're still doing that kind of stuff they're still doing it they're still doing the live streams is there still uh sexual assault this Yesterday, I was like, man, I've got to get back on YouTube and start talking about this again because they're putting their broadcast like, on my genitals like a hundred times, like literally like a hundred times. And it's like I can't even function throughout my day. And they're, they're just doing too much and doing all of this. And I'm like, why, why is a grown man they let this one guy come back on and, and suddenly... Um, you know, he's doing all these stupid girl screams and dumb voices and revving things up and turning on noises and putting broadcasts all over my genitals. And they, you know, they, they'll have you like curled up trying to protect yourself. And there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Um, you know, I wrote down uh, return of, of uh, the super hyped idiots and uh, how they influence each other. And they let the one idiot come back on and then they all turn into stupid idiots. And they're all, they all get on mind control and they're all on your channel. And it's very likely that they're all kind of like on together as like the hive mind where you have one frequency and everybody's receiving and thinking and it just becomes this mess of thoughts. And, um, you know, thank God I'm not sitting here with the capability to receive all of this in a comprehensive way. So I could just be like some lost, uh, drooling gang sulking idiot. I I'd much rather be in the position that I'm in because they're dumb and the, the sexual assault and the genital attacks. And it's like, it's like almost like, uh, like a gay molestation or something. And, um, you know, those are the kind of words to say to get your video flagged. But it's just the truth. I got these idiots on my channel that seem to think that putting their broadcast on my genitals a hundred times a day is um, great for their live stream and their entertainment factor of all of it. Or do they just love to do it? Do they have an obsession with male genitals? It, it would seem that way. Um, last night I lay down to go to sleep. And they just started attacking my right foot. I've done the whole videos, a hundred, probably a hundred of them, about them putting their broadcast into like the bone structure of my foot, where it just it hurts and it's super hot and it hurts and it's miserable. And they started doing that again last night, and I wrote it on my list. Um, turning on devices. Let's see uh, the live stream show the confirmation. So I've, I've kind of talked about all of the little points that I wanted to make. I just I find it amazing that they, um, they're they still around. It's been over a decade. So these guys originally came on in 2013 with some hacking and stuff, and they eventually talked the person into having, that has my neural monitoring into letting them be full-on, out loud, full-time gang stalkers to sit there and bother me all day. And, um, you know, and, and they warned me what the process was happening. They're saying the guy that was on my channel who was, had been on about a year, who, uh, is, you know, it's got James, James, he was very close to uh, the girl that has my neural monitoring. And uh, he was like, you know, I'm about to hand it over to these guys. I hope you're ready because these MFs are relentless. That's what he said. And, um, you know, who could have imagined back, uh, that was about nine years ago or eight, that was uh, eight years ago. 
that was eight years ago. They were already on, but he was handing it off to them as like, I'm getting off as the full-time guy and I'm giving it to them as full-time. And so they've been on total 11 years. And as the sole um, controllers of the live stream and the just the neural monitoring administration overall, um, they don't they don't have ownership of it, of my account that's based on my neurological frequency. But um, but what they have is is like the administrator position, one of them. And then he's got like three other guys on with him. So I got four people on full time and they've been on full time 100 percent as administration uh, with administration privileges uh, since 2016, eight years ago. And uh, total, they've been on 11 years and it's still they still do the same stupid stuff. They almost, um, you know, I don't know. This it's it's really crazy to me that they could still even have interest. I don't do anything that interesting. I go to work. I do schoolwork. I try to sleep. I, I have a very full schedule, and there's not even I don't even run around and like go places that are fun. You know, I hardly do anything that they would that you would think a gang stalker would be interested in or that they could even um, call marketable as far as for their live streams. And I think that's when they really start to get super erratic and uh, try to start pushing with all the dumb stuff is they just need, they need some content and, the, and it's not here. It's not here anymore. So they, they have to try to create it themselves by acting irrational and violent and you know, use broadcast to torture and all of those type of things, but um, it's not good. It's not entertaining, and it, it, you know, they should be fired. Really, if if it was a job like a real job and like in a company, they'll be fired because they're they're not good at it, and, and they don't produce anything that's worth watching. So anyway, that's where it's at right now, and. Um, dealing with a lot of little problems in life and uh you know had some medical procedures uh three weeks ago and i've been recovering from that stuff and um you know it's, i've been back at work already for two weeks and you know that's it but i guess um i'll try not to say gone for a month this time or or ever again i guess and um uh, I'll just talk about whatever needs to be talked about. I got a lot of ideas. And um, the main thing is to move towards success and knowledge and try to understand as much as you can about all of this stuff. And uh, you just try to get try to get your situation moving in a direction that can uh, eventually lead to you defeating neural monitoring gang stalkers and um, having possession of your own neural monitoring whatever the circumstances surrounding that might be. And, um, you know, just equip yourself to deal with the type of problems that you have. And that's gonna require uh, knowledge and discipline and, and financial knowledge and computer science knowledge and all of those things. So um, anyway, I gotta run, gotta go uh, right back to work and do my thing. So I appreciate you guys reaching out so much and um, I'll be back again real soon. Thank you for watching.